हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस इन आंसर फॉर एवरी सिविल साइड इंजीनियर जॉब्स क्यूए या क्यूसी इंजीनियर जॉब्स इंस्पेक्टर जॉब एटसेट्रा इन दिस वीडियो यू विल गेट ऑल काइंड ऑफ इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन दैट इज मोस्टली आस्क्ड ड्यूरिंग इंटरव्यू टाइम्स when you learn these types of interview questions you will never ever need more study for interviews uh, so the video are very important don't miss and watch to the end let's start the first question is how will trucks be checked on site when receiving concrete a revol revol revolution counter b ticket checked for concrete batching time and slab slab value at the plant c slab test d temperature test the maximum temperature at site 32 degree centigrade e assure lab technicians is present at the site and performs testings 6 f 6 cubes or four cylinders should be taken per 50 cubic meters or recommended in the project specifications the point should be noted per 50 cubic meters concrete sir you will take sir, six cubes or four cylinders the next the next question is what is the purpose of slum tests the answer is to determine the consistency of the workability of the concrete mix and to check for the required slumps the next question is what are allowable slumps the answer is 2.5 cm to 7.5 cm for vibrated structure and without it mixture and if we if with admixture and plasticizers slump depends upon the design mix slump shall shall be checked as per design mix uh, for slab we will take a uh, 50 mm to 100 mm slump and for columns uh, 75 mm to 150 mm and when when you pour the concrete uh, by Uh, concrete pumps then you will take the uh, uh, slump value 150 mm to 200 mm the next question is what is plasticizer what is plasticizer plasticizer is basically uh, a mixture usually applied at low water cement ratio concrete to make it workable plasticizer are used to make the concrete it workable uh five questions the next question is what is the maximum temperature for concrete then can be poured into a concrete structure the maximum temperature uh, will be uh, 32 degree centigrade so the next question is six minimum and maximum atmospheric ambient temperature prior to paving the minimum temperature is 5 degree centigrade in cold weather and 45 degree centigrade maximum for hot weather if the temperature below the 5 degree then you will add admixtures uh the next question is seven questions minimum and maximum temperature of concrete at the site prior to pouring a uh, minimum concrete temperature is 10 degree centigrade and maximum temperature is 32 degree centigrade the next question is what is the purpose of curing purpose of curing number 1 to maintain the amount of water in the concrete mix or number 2 to minimize hair line cracks hair line cracks the point should be noted uh, the next question is types of curing Uh, what types of curing uh, water curings as in a ponding method spraying spraying wet wet sand and wet earth ponding method are specially used for slab structures 
and spraying a uh, wet and wet earth uh, is basically used for retaining wall columns etc membrane coverings is in plastic film liquid membrane covering compound and reinforced paper steam covering and uh, and the other is chemical method uh the next question is 10 number question when will you apply the covering of the concrete sir after the concrete has initially set 35 to 40 minutes is the initial setting time of concrete uh 11 questions for how many days are you going to cure st structures minimum uh, curing times of minimum curing time say one days say one days in some cases like pcc types of cement uh, and 14 days for curing are recommended fair question what is hydration uh, it is the formation of a compound by the combination of water and other substances are in concrete it is chemical reaction between water and cement uh 13 number questions how many time do you apply the covering membranes uh the answer is at least two times the second application is perpendicular to the first and applied after the first application has set the next question is uh i have 190 uh enter we questions in answers inshallah we will uh, we will learn 190 interview question you will never ever need more study for interviews when you learn 190 questions next question concrete curings water shall not have more than of the total dissolved solid uh, the point should be noted 100 1000 ppm of the total dissolved solid concrete covering water shall not have more than 1000 ppm 15 number questions concrete can be dropped freely at height of uh, the answer is 1.5 meters concrete should not be dropped from a height more than 1.5 meters the 16 qu question maximum and minimum slope of chutes used in pouring concrete sir the answer is maximum slope is 1 in 2 vertical to horizontal uh, and minimum slope is 1 in 3 1 in 3 uh, the next question is uh, 17 number questions and advantages of reducing the water cement ratio of concrete mix uh, the answer is increases strength increases water tightness lower absorptions increased resistance to weathering a better bond between concrete and the reinforcements this is in the questions uh the next question is the next question is uh what are the two basic types of concrete two basic types of concretes are structural and non structural concretes Uh, 19 question how would you compare 7 days and 28 days compressive strength of concrete so the answer is so, uh, for 7 days the strength of concrete 70 to 75% of that of 28 days strength concrete the next question is what is comp composite structure Uh, it is a structure composed of two material as steel and concrete concrete are a composite st uh, structure the next question is what is a non composite structure uh, the answer is it is a structure made of either concrete or steel this is the questions uh, 22 questions what are the reason behind the cracks oh Uh, there are different uh, reason uh, behind the cracks uh, poor, the answer is poor curing practice poor designs uh, poor vibration which result in segregations lesser bar coverings poor poor quality of concrete movement of false work or forms 
uh, higher water cement ratio uh, severe atm atmospheric attack which shows the effect on the heat of hydration with water initially uh, the next question is next questions Uh, 20, 23. What are the concrete samples? The cylinder and the cubes of compressive strain tests. This is the samples. Cylinder or cubes. Twenty uh, four questions. Within how many hours should concrete mix to be discharged after leaving the batching plant? Or after all the aggregates, cement and water are the mixer. This is the very important questions for every interviews. Uh, the answer is within one hour. If the mixer is an agitated mixer, also depend on the design mixer. And with the thirty minutes of, if the mixer is a non-agitated mixer, the initial setting time of uh, concrete is thirty uh, minutes. And final sinking time of concrete so ten uh, hours, or the or three hundred minutes. The next question is question twenty five. What is the initial sinking time of concrete mix? Uh, the initial sinking time I already told you uh, thirty to thirty minutes, but there is thirty five to forty minutes. Uh, the next question is what is the mixing Time of stationary and central batching plant concrete. This is the very important times. The mixing times of a concrete is the answer is fifty to ninety seconds. This is the very important points you should be noted. The next question is twenty seven. What is the agitating speed of the mixer? The agitating speed of the mixer is two to Six revolution per minutes. The point should be noted. Two to uh, two to six uh, two to six revolution per minute. Revolution per minute RPMs. Revolution per minutes. The next question is: What is the mixing speed of mixers? Uh, what is the mixing speed of mixers? The answer is six to eighteen RPM. Revolution per minute. So, the next question is twenty nine. What is the concrete fatigue? Uh, it is, it is the weakening of a material caused by a repeated loads. The next question is, uh, what is creep? It is deformation due to sustained load. It is deformation due to the sustained load. The next question is. How would you know if the concrete has gained its initial set sets? Oh, this is a very important uh, uh, question. So, if there is no more water seen or brightness on the surface of the concrete, or if there is no water on the surface of the concrete, the question is. Uh, once again, how would you know if the concrete has gained its initial sets? Uh, if there are no more water seen on the surface of the concrete, so, good questions. Uh, the next question is thirty-two. If agitated concrete is discharged after more than one hour, what will happen? Uh, the answer is the concrete is over mixed, becomes hot. And strength is reduced. Oh, oh. The next question is thirty-three. How many layers are in the concrete cubes? Concrete layers are mostly play, uh, poured or placed uh, three layers. Concrete cube is cast in in three layers. Easy questions. The next question is thirty-four. How many uh, strokes are done in one layer in concrete cubes? There are the Uh, the question is thirty-five strokes in one layer, uh, but uh, normally use twenty-five strokes in one layer. Twenty-five, twenty-five strokes in one layer. Mostly, normally. 
The next question is what is the size of rod used in concrete cube casting and slum test? Uh, the dia of rod 16 mm and uh, 600 mm is length. So, dia 16 mm and length is uh, 600 mm or 60 cm. The next question is what is the size of concrete cubes? The size of concrete cubes normally used 150 millimeter multiplied by 150 millimeter multiplied by 150 millimeter. Uh, the next question is what is the size of slum cones? Uh, same slum cones mostly use height 30 centimeter, top of cone 10 centimeter, bottom of cone 20 centimeter. But mostly are speaking. Uh, uh, 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30, mostly speaking. Next question is, how many layers are in the slum test? There are three, three layers in STMs, ASTM and BS, but four layers in Indian standards. The next question is, next questions. How many strokes are done in one layer in slum test? Uh, I already told you normally uh, use 25 strokes for one layer. A 40 number question what are the essential elements of concrete placements? The answer is the maximum height of the concrete drops is less than or equal to 1.5 meters. The concrete uh, should not be dropped from a height 1.5 meters. Uh, a. B. Segregation must be prevented. By ensuring transit mixer is a prod, has operation revolution counter, no adding water after batching and concrete is placed in such a manner to prevent segregation. Only shoals can be used to move concrete around inside a farm, a farm uh, uh, raking allowed. Variability should not be used for that, for that purpose. C. See, proper vibration must be implemented. Proper vibration drop, uh, dropping the vibrator under its own weight until it's get to desired drop height, then uh, leaving if there a three to three. The second, then pulling at the count of three to four seconds when vibrating sub, uh, subsequent layers. The vibration must pre, uh, pre penetrate a centimeter into all layers. Uh, D. The answer is more little bit lengthy. Uh, D. Some labor must be continu continuously watching the farm in case as uh, a well is being poured. Proper height of each concrete lift must be absorbed, such as the usual 100, 600 millimeters state normally in project specification. Also, taping on the wall necessary to assist in the consolidation process. E. The concrete temperature uh, and the slump are two strong indicators of the inspector's knowledge. The slump between 75 mm and 1 to 5 mm is normally for normal pores. The maximum allowed temperature for concrete when arriving at the project site is 32. Maximum uh, temperature is 32 degrees centigrade. The question, uh, 30 number questions, 41 number questions. How do you measure the volume of concrete? Sir? The volume of concrete is calculated by multiplying its length, wide, and thickness together. For example, 1 meter multiplied by 1 meter multiplied by 1 meter is equal to 1 cubic meter of volume of concrete. Uh, why concrete cover is provided for reinforcement? This is the very important question. Uh, question sir. Concrete cover for reinforcement is required to protect the rebar against against corrosion to provide resistance against fires. There are two, uh, two purposes. Protect the rebar against corrosion and provide resistance against fires. Uh, uh, 43. Number question. How do check level and construction site? I will check the level on the construction site by spirit level, dumpy level, and leveling pipes. Uh, 40, 44 number question. What is the accuracy of dumpy level or minimum reading we can take? Huh? With the help of a dumpy level, we can take up a 5 millimeter accurate reading or minimize 
or minimum readings. Uh, 45 number question How do you calculate the weight of barometer long and 10 meter dia steel asides? It is simple by multiplying uh, excuse me, to use the formula. Uh, by multiplying the length of steel ball with its unit weights, so unit weight of 10 mm is equal to 0 0.60 kg per cubic meter. Weight of steel 0 0.60 multiplied by 12 is equal to 7.2 kg per 10 mm. Uh, 46 number question, what is, the, uh, what is the equation used for calculating the unit of the steel bars? Uh, to calculate the unit weight of the steels, mostly used in MK systems, uh, d square divided by 162.162. The equation used for calculating the unit weight of the steel bars. Uh, 47 number question What is the size of concrete cubes? The standard size of concrete cubes, I already told you, 15 centimeters multiplied by 15 centimeters multiplied by 15 centimeters. Uh, the will the video will be uh, the video will be going to very lengthy so uh, so this is the part one this is the part one inshallah I will uh, teach you uh, the second in the second the video second part uh,